Right, welcome to the second video of Simple's Simple Week. Um, I'm going to show you how to install drivers on your new computer once you've got it. So, with this one, and bear in mind, everyone's just every driver is different. Um, we've got this CD here. Um, this is an Acer, Acer Aspire driver CD for this desktop PC. Um, and as you can see, no network, I've got the network and everything plugged in, no sound, no network, low resolution because it doesn't know what graphics adapter is running on it. So if we open the CD tray, pop the disc in, and what we'll need to do is just wait for a moment for the disc to spin up. Once it's spin up, you'll get an auto run. And bear in mind every driver is different. You can run the auto run but I'm going to show you how to do it a slightly different way which is more easier. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to minimise that for a moment. I'll show you how to do it that way in a minute as well. So we go to the start menu, right click on computer, go to properties. Whilst in there you want to go to device manager. When you're in device manager you want to click on all of these now there's a triangle with an exclamation mark there um, and that's basically saying there's no driver installed and it's unknown hardware, Windows doesn't know what it is so you've got USB drivers, SM bus controller, PCI simple communication controller and Ethernet controller um, that there I would think, no hang on, SM bus, that's going to be the card reader I would have thought that's obviously networking, the other two are going to be something to do with the Intel chipset. So we're going to start off the Ethernet, we're going to click update driver. What you do is you right click on it, click update driver software, browse your computer for driver software, then click browse. I'm going to scroll right down, go to computer, and that one there. Um, click on that one because that's driver, but there will be a folder like drivers or anything, and if you can't find the right folder, just click on the disk drive. And do it from there. Click next. It's now searching the disk for drivers and in a second all going well it should pop up saying installing driver software. The reason we do it this way is because it doesn't install the Acer bloatware that Acer want on here. They get sponsored, well they get paid if uh, they put Norton on, the, on your computer and you buy it they'll get commission and that's why they give you the disk and that's why it automatically puts all that rubbish on there. Doing it this way Windows will pick only what it needs for the driver nothing else. So we'll just wait for a moment whilst that's uh, setting itself up and searching for the drivers. Um, it is doing something because I can hear it spinning up. There we go, it's found the driver, it's installing it. And you want to go through this with every one of them, and also the display adapter as well, because although that's not got the um, mark next to it, it's using standard VGA driver, so we'll do that now. Update driver, search, and then just leave that as that, as it was before. Should pick it up faster this time, because it'll be... I don't know, actually, no, it's not AMD. Intel. Yeah, it should be faster this time. Hasn't got to go so far down the list. There we go, it's found it, it's now installing the driver. Graphics driver allows 3D applications to take advantage of the full hardware and the power. Um, and basically without it, things like YouTube videos and stuff, there will be like slideshows and scrolling down. Um, scrolling down things will be, um, won't be very smooth. But that ain't too bad, but you will notice it on websites. As you can see, it's rated at 1 because it hasn't got the graphics drivers. So that will be why that's stuck at 1. Just check that, see what that's doing. Let's get in there. So the processor gets 7.4, there's a powerful processor in there, 
5.9 for the RAM, uh, 1 and 1 for that, and 5.9 for the hard drive. Because it's got a mechanical hard drive, that won't go any higher, even if the hard drive outperforms that score. It's limited. So we don't want to restart now, we'll restart it in a bit. Now it's found that and, and labelled it as Intel HD graphics. I want to do the same with these now. I know one of these will probably be the Intel um, IME, Intel Management Engine. So just keep going through that. There we go, that's installed that. Yeah, Intel Management Engine Interface. Uh, do the same with this one. That one's done. Now we need to do that one, which is most likely going to be the card reader. There we go, it's found it. Yeah, Realtek USB 2 card reader. Although it's actually internal, but it runs off USB. Now, what you want to do, yeah, we're home network. We're not really on a rebel. Now, what you want to do is restart. Whilst it's restarting, remove the disk because it's lo uh, no longer needed now. And then, once you've done that, you want to put the disc in with your Windows disc, keep it all together because you never need to come back to it and start fresh. If you get viruses or anything, you got it all there ready. And that's, uh, you notice know, everything's a lot smaller now, a lot more crisp, a lot more clear. Um, I will zoom in. Whoops. Something like that. Everything is now a lot smaller at its native resolution for the monitor. So we now know that that is all done. You've successfully installed the drivers for your new Acer Aspire machine. Or whatever machine you have. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate and subscribe.